Hello and happy birthday to my cappies that are having a birthday today. I hope you have an amazing day. So I'm going to do a general reading for your birthday. So this is for December 31st birthdays. As always, take what resonates, leave what does not. Um, and we're going to start with our animal oracle cards. And I have my cleansing crystal on top. And then we're going to get our star dragons. So we're going to get some more cards, but we're going to start with those. And we're going to see what's going to be going on for the next year. What energies may be coming in for you. What do you need to focus on, work on, look at. All right, so we have Sandpiper Spirit. Be playful. So this year having... Make sure that you take that time to just have fun and to enjoy life and to do those hobbies or spend that time with those people that are important to you and to just have fun and be playful and be lighthearted and, and kind of loosen up on the on the serious meter, right? <laughs> and just be more lighthearted and to enjoy the little things in life for this next year. All right, we're going to grab some star dragons, looking at the lighter side of life for this next year. And maybe the, it could be a lifestyle change, right? Like it's so much more fun being playful. <laughs> we have um, transformation, defining yourself, defining yourself. That's cool. So this year, defining yourself. And then we have inspiration. All right, I was looking at the card underneath I felt the need to have that one too and it kind of goes with the sandpiper so you get a bonus for you um, in your reading <clears throat> we have and I feel like the colors are kind of the same so surrender letting go of the darkness inspiration and transformation defining yourself so I feel that there is a lot of self healing a self exploration this year and learning more about yourself releasing things letting things go surrendering and realizing that the darkness is not something that you want to hold on to and does not serve you and does not help you to grow to become the person that you want to be or you know into that like it's hold the darkness is holding you back and it's casting a shadow on being playful. So, and having that lightheartedness. And I love this one here with that transformation, defining yourself and kind of like exploring who am I and what do I like to do? And, and, and what, if someone was going to describe you, how would they describe you? And just, saying this is the person that I am and being proud of that and and accepting that within yourself sometimes we like to change ourselves or we like to fit a certain mold that people want us to be but defining yourself and saying this is the way that I am so if you want to be around me that that this is the me right that I'm not going to change for other people and what inspires you and who inspires you right or be your own inspiration and saying yeah like I'm I'm going to do this for me Let's grab some Wisdom of the Oracle for you. What inspires you to keep moving forward and pushing forward? All right, so we have Chaos and Conflict. We have Deep Knowing and Never Ending Story. So I feel like this is a year to end that never ending story where you keep going round and round and round and feel like you're not really getting anywhere and saying this is the year that I'm going to break out. That creating that chaos and conflict stirs things up and brings things to the surface. We have the zebra here with the giraffe print on there and like it's the, I think it's the zebra print is kind of falling away. Like part of it is is either you know, falling away or being put on or, you know, becoming true self. And I feel like that goes with this is defining yourself is, is saying, you know, what, who am I? What am I? Um, what are my values? What are my core values? What is my, you know, who am I? And being true to yourself, whatever that may be, and not like breaking the mold, not fitting the mold, but breaking the mold, deep knowing, learning a lot about yourself. I feel like you're really going to be in tune with yourself this year and, and a lot of deep knowing. And I feel like some things may be bubbling up to the surface, but see those as things that 
that are coming to the surface for you to work on and for you to learn and to grow from and see those challenges as things that are helping you, um, that they're working for you, not against you, to open up new doors and to end never-ending stories where you feel like you keep going around and around and around and around and, and having those same patterns and freeing yourself from that and saying, I don't want things to be the way that they, they were anymore, that I want this, this is a year that things are going to change, right? This is a year that things are going to be different, but being in that mindset and saying, yeah, some things may be challenging, but some things are going to be incredibly rewarding. Um, so I feel like the be playful is kind of like, if challenges come up, look at it as like, like something that's working for you, not against you. I feel like your mindset is very important with that um, and trying to look at the lighter side of that. We have our um, tarot cards. We have the Five of Pentacles, opportunities. Oh, falling in for you. We have the Ace of Pentacles, that grounding energy. We have the Queen of Swords, finding the truth, um, finding getting to the bottom of a situation or finding out your truth, right? Speaking your truth. And then we have the hangman where you're seeing things from a different perspective. You're seeing things differently that this year. And then our next card out is the magician. I'm doing a bonus card for you here. It also is the magician and you are powerful in that you have things under control. Like you're, you're making choices and decisions. You're not waiting for other people. Like you're seeing things differently and your choices and decisions are going to be different because you're seeing things from a different perspective. Like things have been flipped upside down for you, but to see that as I needed to see that, right? That I needed to see that. And with this peacock here, it's like spreading your, your showing how beautiful you are, spreading your feathers out for everyone to see how beautiful you are and to feel free and say, this is who I am. And this is who, who, this is right. Defining yourself and that this is who I am. Having that stability. I feel like there's some financial opportunities that may come in for you here with that coin falling into the hand and then with the ace of pentacles right next door so it could be career opportunities it could be business opportunities financial opportunities um i feel like those things are happening but i feel like you're in the mindset of saying i want to have this happen like i'm ready to receive i'm ready to i'm ready to start fresh i'm i'm ready for i feel like there's a lot of change but it's it's a good change and it's a powerful change. It's like you're you're feeling more in control of your life this year. And there may be some, like I said, there may be some challenges that are going to question that and and are going to test you and say, well, is this really you or is this not you? Is this really who you are? Is this really who you want to be? Is this really right? It's going to ask you. The universe is going to ask you that question, and you're going to say that definitive yes or no, right? Or you're going to say, right? And you're going to be clear on that because you're going to feel more in control. I, I love these two cards here. Like these are my favorite um, in your reading right here is just seeing things differently that it, it opens that door to power, right? Of that self power, that, that self um, individual empowerment and saying, I've got this, I've got things under control, and realizing that those challenges are there for you to see the truth and to see things differently, right? And and re, and remind yourself of that when you're going through a challenge and you're like, oh, why is this happening to me? What do I need to see? What do I need to learn? How do I do? I need to step back and I need to look at this from a different perspective and saying, okay, what what do I need to learn from this? And and give yourself that part because that's how you're breaking the never ending story, right? Is, is breaking, you're surrendering, you're letting go of the darkness, you're ending the never ending story and you're seeing things differently. And that's what you have to remember when you're going through those things. Even though it's hard when you go through those things, you're like, oh, OMG. <laughs> but that's to empower you, right? It's to give you your power. All right, um, let's grab an empowering questions card. We have, would I be proud of myself if I spoke to other people in the same way as my thoughts speak to me? I love that question. Love that. How do my thoughts speak to me? All right, that kind of has a green color there. How do my thoughts speak to me? How do they speak to you? 
It's asking yourself these questions for that self-exploration to learn more about yourself and to, you know, take that time to yourself and process things and work through things. I feel like not enough people do that or they want to do that. Like they'll just find something to numb themselves. So they're like, okay, I don't want to have quiet time because I don't really want to think about things. I don't want to deal with things. It's a strong person that says, I want quiet time and I want to ask myself these questions and I want to figure this out. As a strong person who wants change and who wants to be changed and wants things differently that will go through those things. That's what I feel. The strong person is, is the one that perseveres through that and, and realizes that. And I feel it's the weak person that just numbs themselves and um, doesn't want to deal with anything. That's just my personal opinion. Yours could be completely different. Um, I'm just voicing my opinion and that may or may not resonate with you. That's perfectly fine. We're all entitled to our opinions, but that's just my thought. All right, let's grab a Angel Answers card for you. All right. I kind of feel like that one wants to come through. Abundance. Abundance wants to come through for you. And that's what you need to, to remember. As you're going through these challenges and, and you're having these situations come up and you're maybe repeating this never-ending story and you're saying, I want to break free from this, that that's what leads you to abundance, which I feel is the magician. And that is, it's, it's leading you to abundance, whatever that abundance may represent for you. And... um that's what this is. That's what the, the cards are saying. And that's what this year is for having fun. I just feel like the sandpiper spirit was being playful is make sure that you take with, with this heavier work that you have going on, especially letting go of the darkness and this never ending story uh, and this chaos and conflict. But I, I feel that that's a good thing because you're defining yourself. I feel like with those things that those are going to be kind of heavy and they're going to be kind of a lot, but I feel like make sure you take that time, which is why we kind of have the sandpiper at the, at the top of this saying, make sure that you're playful, make sure that you take that time to rest and recuperate and to have some fun and have some lighthearted moments and to step away from that heavier work that you may be doing and to still remember like the playful fun moments which I feel those will be coming more and more the more that you release but it's kind of going through that process that may be hard so but make sure that you you have that time where you have that playful time even if it's just for a couple of hours and you give yourself that and be like, oh, okay, like this is what life is about, you know, having fun. And, you know, sometimes we have to do the hard stuff, but there's also the fun stuff too. And to not, you know, and and being active and, and not, you know, like getting out there and doing something that, you know, is really fun for you. All right, let's grab a crystal card for your reading. To close it out, this one right here. All right, we have pyrite, which is this right here, this crystal right here. So that kind of goes with this middle, with those colors there. We have pyrite, luck, prosperity, and success. Look at that, with abundance. That was our last card that we pulled out. The gold standard when it comes to crystals, pyrite attracts abundance. Look at that, abundance. So it's repeating for you, repeating energies for you with that abundance. Wealth, that's what I was saying, is that there may be some opportunities coming in for you um, and prosperity. Known as fool's gold, pyrite encourages you to follow your dreams and envision your desires. Like envision them, embody those, embrace those. Manifesting powers are high when this crystal is at play. Pyrite has that spark. Literally, pyrite can create fire when struck against another stone or metal and is believed to contain the element of fire in its core. Pyrite also acts as a powerful protector, shielding you from negativity and protecting the integrity of your aura. Strike fast and don't look back, right? Make things happen. Don't question, no doubt. Don't look back and know that this is the path that you're on. And to make those things happen and, and know that you have this energy on your side and that ab abundance, whatever that may represent for you is what you're headed towards, right? That there may be some challenges or maybe some tests 
to see how badly do you want that, but to keep pushing through, right? And never giving up because that's that transformation that you're going through this year. You're surrendering and you're transforming. So that's a, that's a lot going on. Um, but also to keep those lighthearted moments and know that your goal is amazing. All right. I hope you have an amazing day. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.